The Annihilator is in the World of Tanks Blitz shop. Unfortunately, it's in a draw. So is it worth it? Or should you just stick to the old time king of tier seven, the Smasher? Let's find out whether the Annihilator is worth it. Now to obtain the Annihilator, you first need to go into the shop and buy these blast tokens right here. Five of them cost five euros. That way you can play the first five stages of the draw. After that, you still have to pay over 9,000 gold to get to number 16, because if you look at the uh, value and the drop chances, then uh, your Annihilator is 0.03%, so the chance of getting it in the first one is zero, basically. It's very close to zero. So you pretty much have to play all of them. And the rest of the values in here, you have Smasher containers in here, we had 3% drop chance, which is not very good. You have times fives, which is very nice, but the rest of them is collect them all. These kind of avatars, like the only value in here is true value is the times fives and the annihilator and the uh, is that worth fifteen thousand gold personally the annihilator to me is worth about six seven thousand gold at most because the stats of the vehicle look first of all quite interesting it has three guns so that's nice you do have armor that's good enough we'll talk about that later a bit the camouflage it's a heavy tank you're gonna play at the front line whatever basically here's how you handle the camouflage if you're outside of the enemy's view range you're not going to be spotted. If you're inside the enemy's view range, you can be spotted if you fire. So if you really want to be hidden, stay away 280 meters from any other tank. That way you're safe. 2.7k DPM, quite high, but you have three shells that have to fire at the same time, which means if you only hit one every single time, you're going to have a little bit over 1,000 DPM. So make sure you hit all three shells. Obviously, there are going to be situations where that won't happen. Uh, the reload between is 0.3 seconds between the shells, so they don't go out at the same time. So if you have a moving target, you're most likely not going to hit all of them. You're also sometimes going to have one that doesn't pen. So that's a big downside here. Uh, obviously, it can also be an advantage because if you have a 630 alpha damage uh, round and it doesn't pen, you have a problem. But if you have three separate shells, one of them might still pen, might still do damage. So it's an advantage and a disadvantage at the same time compared to a single shot gun with high alpha damage. Now, the penetration of this vehicle, pretty awful. I mean, standard penetration of 170 is better than the Smasher, but the 220 premium is just not good enough to go through a lot of tier 8, well-armored tier 8, so that's what this vehicle is going to struggle with most. 210 alpha damage, so 630 in the clip. 0.3 accuracy, if you equip the vehicle properly, quite solid there. And then you have 8 degrees of gun depression, which eh, is good enough. It's not, not, not perfect, especially because there is a big problem with this vehicle's armor. Now the powder weight ratio, not really that great. This is not a fast vehicle. It turns relatively quickly. I mean, the turret has a good traverse rate, uh, but generally the top speed is not very good right here. Uh, you have 35 top speed. You don't really get there too quickly. The Annihilator's armor is somewhat interesting. Lower plate, weak spot, as always. Upper plate can be penned by a lot of tanks as well, so not really much going on here. The armor on this thing, it, it really isn't that good on the hull. Like, you're not getting much here. The turret, it can be penned in some places by tier 8s, especially uh, around the gun right here, because it doesn't really have a complete gun mantlet, so you can pen it with 200mm here. You can also pen the top bar here if it's looking down at you, like if it's using its uh, gun depression then you will be able to uh, fire at this bar at the top here. So not really ideal because like you're sort of pulling your weak spot with you. Uh, so if you're going, you can't go hull down this vehicle. Like the gun depression is great, but it's not effective. It's not good because you're just going to pull your weakness down with you. And whenever you go hull down, the enemy can also pin you very easily up top here. Here we go with the Annihilator, and it's a tier 6 battle, and a tier 5 fail platoon as well, so that's going to be very easy now. I always thought this vehicle is somewhat inferior to the Smasher because of its quite low penetration, but because this is a tier 6 battle, that is not going to be that big of a problem right here, because if you have to fight this thing against tier 8 heavy tanks, you are absolutely hopelessly lost. Whereas in a Smasher, with its excellent heat rounds, you're still going to be able to put up just the fight. But here... We're going to not have any problems and we're going to be able to dominate this match right here. 600 damage at 13 seconds is very nice. Now, again, having three shots obviously makes it somewhat likely that one of them or two of them might not pen entirely. But it also gives you more chances to pen in the first place. That's not that bad of a deal, really. Obviously, if you have a vehicle that's traveling very fast, then you're not going to be able to 
hit all three shots in most cases and you have to fire all three of them every single time so sometimes you're simply gonna lose out on a lot of dpm because you will not be able to actually get all three shots on target and that's kind of what you want to do because the dpm of this vehicle is not that high that you can allow yourself to always fire one when you have three so put that guy out of his misery obviously i'm already low hp but that doesn't really matter too much i can play around that gonna back off the now they're just reloaded if he stays where he is then he's not gonna do that there's two mediums are over there and the kv2 is up there the hazard is now gone which is not so great because now the arl is gonna have to be the punching bag for the annihilator here really and uh, hopefully they'll be able to double team him now can go around the outside here and take out the kv2 gonna block this guy from going anywhere hello arl move thank you here's the kv me no he's gonna miss because he's not good at this game and now he's gonna i don't know why he would do that what he's doing because that now means he's gonna probably die yeah that's great gameplay there the mx is now the main point of contention i can survive a shot from the dracula so i'll be fine if i keep my distance from him and the strv's main goal there should be to take out the mx and or put the dracula low enough because he's now going to die and uh, the Dracula will not be low enough for me to clip him in its entirely. But maybe the MX is going to be just down there. Going to have to... Yeah, no one. I wouldn't have not got that shot anyway. Listen, buddy, if you don't log off this game immediately, I'm going to fly over to your house, come down to that basement you're hiding in, rip off your arms and shove them up your butt! So I'm just going to hope uh, the Dracula gets himself spotted. I have the bush here. Yeah, that's the problem. The problem with this vehicle, you cannot be accurate against the moving target and now both of them are running away i am in the bush so i won't be spotted until i fire that's my goal here i'm gonna hope that the mx is gonna cross the bottom there we go hit one of them now i will be spotted now we're gonna hide though from the dracula i know where he is which means i know where i have to position myself along this plane now I'll be unspotted and now I can get the heck out of here and that's what I want to do because I can see that ARL is gonna get wrecked and I'm not spotted now which means yeah, I know he's up there. I can hide behind this house now. Probably either in that bush up there or somewhere back there where I can't see him because he has to f have a place where he can fire at the ARL. So I might just take a peek here, shoot the bush. Didn't work. Also didn't get spotted which means he Probably isn't there. Oh, no, no, he's there now. So, But he is on 556, so I did hit him, I think. Or somebody hit him. Maybe the ARL did. So I'm just going to drive around the outside here. Because, again, I can theoretically take a shot from him, but I just don't want to. And uh, try to be behind him once he attacks the ARL. Because, obviously, the Dracula sort of has to focus on the ARL here because the ARL is putting pressure on the cap circle. So I can be the flanking player and drive around. And obviously because the ARL is also healthier, I want the ARL to be the focus of the attack here. So I'm going to drive up into this bush and then hope that uh, he's somewhere down there. That's not great because he's again moving, which means I can only hit one of them. So i got to be careful there, but I just need now one more shot. One more clip, rather. Okay, he's now moving behind the ARL means that if he approaches the arrow from there I can't fire him if he's there I can't fire at him so the arrow should move forward and he didn't so that's not good because obviously the arrow should also play with me here and understand where I am and not engage the Dracula in a position that I can't help him which is exactly what he's doing now um, because he's not very bright um, obviously I'm not gonna just yolo rush forward now because by the time I arrive there the fight's already over so I'm gonna just aim at this and try and catch him there we go that's the now there. All right, game number two. The first was 2,600 damage. Nothing impressive there. But now we're in a tier eight battle where there is a lot more meat on the field, but there is also a lot more armor. Luckily, there is no high armor heavy tank on the enemy team, so we'll be fine. I mean, the eye is too sort of, but that has low enough armor that I can pin it reliably in enough places anyway. So that's a very nice thing there. Obviously, kind of saw a lot of the weakness of the Annihilator in last game uh, in terms of the armor and in terms of the not being able to fire on the move. So now we're going to look at a 
a bit more brawly style here. I'm gonna get more sort of in there. There's an enemy annihilator. Want to play the bush here? If he peeks up, I can take three shots into his lower plate, and that's my goal here. I don't want to over peek because then I get spotted, and then he's gonna have the advantage. And uh, there we go. I got full, and he only got one. So that's exactly what we want there. And now he's also low enough to perhaps take him out with a single clip next time round. And he also relinquished this position, which allows me to shoot at the IS. There we go. Only one went in. Quite sad. But um, this is sort of the ideal way to play the game, right? Always find yourself the next opportunity of where to fire and be aware of what can happen, like that Pantera can peek me. But IS is currently disappearing. The IS-2 is not at a position where I can fire at him. Uh, but the Pantera is now sort of running away as the Annihilator peeking up again. He did trade favorably this time. All these guys are just sitting in the back doing nothing most of the time. Unless I'm getting pushed here, I don't have a problem. Anyway, the IS-2 is spotted, so I don't have to worry about anybody sniping from the back. So that's all fine. The IS-2 is probably going to get smoked uh, by those two guys. So not much chance there for him. I'm gonna go for the premium round through the top of the turret of the Annihilator. That is another weak spot that especially turrets can exploit on this vehicle that you can pen the turret um, quite reliably as well. So don't try that. But, uh, oh, there's a gun arrow. Take that out. Or don't. So, let's see. Critical hit. Yeah, we, we love critical hits in Annihilator. So, let's see. Because I know the first one hit, the second one missed, and the third one did a crit, so not great. Here comes the ISU, 400 HP. Obviously, bigger threat is the ISU. Much more DPM. And is he giving up? He's gonna ram himself into me. I'll take that as well. And it's a high tier battle with 7 0. I don't know. That's just how it goes. And it is a great vehicle. It is a great vehicle. Do you have to have it? No.